we are going to unbox a Cisco 2960. What is this called? XR. So Cisco 2960 XR 24TS L. First unboxing video. So first off, cables. Rack mount. And on the XR, it's the standard rack mount like this, like this. So it's not the particular big switch, or I hope not. Down inside of this, it's I think it's power supplies. Power supply, and it's a uh, two hundred fifty watt power supply. This switch actually have two of them. Other than that, nothing there. So two Cisco uh, 250 watts uh, power supply. And then we have the... This is the back side. So this is the Cisco 2960XR, 24 ports. So you remove these slots to put in the power supply. Just clicks. Nice. So when you buy the switches, you also need to think about the airflow. Here, the airflow is from the port, that is the front, to the back. So it's opposite from the Nexus switches. Normally this doesn't generate so much heat so it doesn't matter super much in the data center. The front port exists of a console cable, also a management port. And then in this case, 24 copper interfaces, one gigabit. It can be uh, 100 or 1000 megabit. I also believe it can handle 10 megabit, but I'm not sure. Then we have four SFP uh, modules, which is one gigabit. And that's normally made for um, uplink towards the core or a distribution switch. So the main difference of the XR switch compared to the X switch is double power supply and also that it can do more routing. So the 2960, uh, it's a common access switch. It's quite old right now. Um, the reason why I bought these ones are because they have double power supplies and they can also be stacked. So this is a stack port.
And the stack model looks like this. So it's two um, like a uh, bigger USB port, so to say. It's not USB, it's a special uh, stack cable. So remove this one and put it inside and then you can stack the switch. So there's not much more to say about it. This is the 2960XR unboxing a few years late. I'm actually going to buy a different access switch. We use this for out of band management for our servers. So um, it's a good switch. It's quite old, uh, but it's uh, it's powerful enough to do what we are wanting it to do. And it's a, a gig switch. This one is without. Yeah, this one is without power over Ethernet. There is power over Ethernet through them as well. So. See you in the next one.